Now the purification of the colloidal solutions. The first one is dialysis. The colloids what have prepared in the previous methods they have some impurities. So these impurities can be removed by using some mechanical process. The first one is dialysis. We already know that these colloids have a size in the range of 1 nanometer to 1000 nanometers. So in these solutions, if any electrolytes uh, which is uh, comes under the true solutions has a uh, impurities. So these impurities can easily removed by the dialysis. In this dialysis process, what we are going to do is by using some membranes, patient membrane or animal membrane, these electrolytes uh, which is having small size can be removed from the colloidal solution. You can see this given picture here. These two are the colloidal solution bags and uh, this one kept in the outside and this one kept in the water solution and when we have put into the water solution the colloidal solution which have some impurities these impurities are dispersed from the or diffuses through the membrane you can show this picture in a clear manner here these are the colloidal particles and these are some impurities these impurities are can easily passes through the membrane holes because these having less in size less than one nanometer so it can easily passes through the membrane the corresponding only colloidal solutions are formed that means pure colloidal solution we can get in this process you can show this how they are going into the membrane because of the big sizes of the colloidal solution this cannot passes through the membrane holes and the small particles here you can see this this green color this is taken as a electrolyte uh, which are in small size they can easily diffuse through the membrane and only pure colloidal solutions are remains in the uh, solutions therefore you can get pure colloidal solution Finally, you can get this solution. In this case, initially we are taking the colloidal solutions which is having impurities into two membrane bags. So, the pores or pores which are present in the membrane have a size in the range of true solutions that is less than 1 nanometer. But the size of the colloidal particles are in the range of 1 nanometer to 1000 nanometer. So, the membrane porous or porous of the membrane does not allow the colloidal particles to outside of the solution or colloidal solution. It depends upon the size of this true particles which is present as a impurities in the colloidal solution. In general, take a simple example here, FeOH thrice ferric hydroxide is a colloidal salt. In this, HCl electrolyte present as a impurity. This HCl is a true solution. So, this true solution can easily passes through the animal membrane or patient membrane. When you put into this corresponding FeOH colloidal bag or membrane bag into the water, this HCl is diffused into water, the pure hydroxide sole you can get. And next one is electrodialysis. This is same principle which are using in the dialysis only based upon the charges present on the impurities or uh, the charges present on the true solutions this can be done these are purified by applying electric charge see in the given picture here this is the colloidal solutions which are separated by the membranes and uh, when you apply the electric charge which is present as a electrodes on the both side when you apply this charge the electrolytes which are present as a impurities in the soul they are attracted to each other electrolytes here all are negative charges are attracted towards the anode this negative charges all are negative charges are attracted towards the anode and the positive charges are attracted towards the cathode because of the different negative charges. When you apply the electric charge, these are attracted with each other, they are diffused through the membrane. So by this process, you can get the more purified product of the colloidal solution because of this attracting nature of the opposite charges when you apply the electric charge the corresponding electrolytes which are act as impurities in the colloidal solution they are attracted by the electrodes and it is purified easily
and this is the most efficient process than the dialysis. In this process, we are using the electric charge. So, when we apply electric charge, negative ions or impurities attracted towards the anode and positive ions are attracted towards the cathode. Now, ultra purification or filtration. This is the another process for the purification of colloidal solution. In this process, we are using some special type of the graded filter papers to purify the colloidal solution. In this process, graded filter papers are used to filter the colloidal solution. So what happens, this graded filter paper only allows the electrolytes which are present as a impurities. So this can easily diffuse through the filter paper, the remaining purified colloidal solution are present. This graded filter paper allows only electrolytes. It does not allow the colloidal solution. Because the colloidal solution particles having a large in size, so they cannot pass through or they cannot diffuse through the graded filter paper like as a membrane only. But these graded filter papers are uh, specified for the specific types of collides. So, in this process, depends upon the size only, we are purifying the colloidal solution. That means, these graded papers are made up only for the particular core size. It depends upon the core size, we are using the particular graded papers. These graded papers are made up with the particular core size. Now another method is ultra centrifugation. In this colloidal solution is taken into the centrifugal tube. The centrifugal tube as shown in this picture it has a like this shape and when you immerse the, the corresponding colloidal solution in this tube this corresponding colloidal solution is placed into the centrifugal tube and uh, this centrifugal tube is immersed in the machine which is called as a that is centrifugation. In the centrifugation what happens uh, after this centrifugation tube is immersed into the centrifuge and uh, it rotates into the high speeds and by the rotation the colloidal particles which has a large size and uh, high mass that settle down into the tube and the remains electrolytes are uh, in the solution finally it becomes the colloidal solution is settled down the impurities are remain on the above the surface of the colloidal solution they can easily removed by the process so this the solution which is uh, remains on the surface of the colloidal soul is called centrifugate this centrifugate is easily removed the, in the centrifugate only the electrolytes are present because of the less mass of the electrolytes they are present in the centrifugate so in this process the colloidal solution is taken into centrifuge and uh, it rotates at a high speed keep on rotating the small electrolytes or remains in solution which is called centrifugate and this colloidal particles are settled down in the tube you can easily separate and uh, this colloidal solution which is present in the tube is becomes precipitate and by adding the corresponding dispersed medium to this we can get the corresponding colloidal solution because after centrifugation process, uh, this colloidal particles are settled down as a precipitate. So that we have to add some dispersion medium to get the corresponding colloidal soul.